It's full on spring here in Florida. Birds are getting noisy and crazy. This grapefruit tree here in Yankee Town is perking up. Hi, doggy. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, yes. Oh, happy dog. Happy, 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 joy, joy. Oh, are you never ever this happy? Or, oh, that's it. You're done with me. All right, after showing you all that wonderful springtime stuff, uh, here comes the reality of it. <laughs> Besides the crazy dogs, there's the, no see are really ferocious right now. And oh, by the way, there's a pack of wild dogs after us. Must be springtime. So we've come about a half a mile out to the Withlacoochee out the canal from Magnolia Terrace. And we're just going to stop right here, right in the river. Try everything. A herd of wild ibises over there in the swamp. Well, I don't know anybody who keeps an ibis as a pet. Ibis? Ibis. Ibis. Oops, sorry. Florida mispronunciation. Sin. And I'm in the water. I have a dried out old shrimp on a lead headed jig and just dropping it to the bottom, seeing what happens. There with our buddies, the ibises over there watching, and they're watching nothing happen. So I did lose my. My little jig, I had to replace it. But we're moving on down the river. We're going to Bennett Creek. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is Bennett Creek. It's actually kind of interesting. It winds through the jungle. And there's be all kinds of interesting birds in there. Brontosauruses and stuff. Right off the back of the boat. Big yep. Fish. Big fish. Okay. Look at the big... The dog doesn't care about that. He's <laughs> looking at your sandwich. It's a very good sandwich. It's medium rare hamburger. Oh, wow. Just like you like it. Something's on the line here. I got something. A uh, little mangrove snapper. No. What is that? Mangrove snapper. Yeah. Okay. Do I win the uh, do I win the lottery of the pot or whatever it is? Well, First fish. fish. First fish, yeah. Now, how as soon as you pay me for mine last How time. not to get stabbed by the fish and the uh well we'll do this off camera. <laughs> Oh, oh, you love me still. I thought you had a new boyfriend. Huh? Nah, it's me. It's always been me, I know. I know. I forgive you. But don't let me see you with Bruno ever again. You remember Disney's Jungle Cruise? Well, this is Bennett Creek. It's a lot like it. Only here, the 12 foot alligators are real. We said we we're gonna go up Bennett Creek and drop line and Maybe get lucky with some redfish or a giant snook, or maybe nothing. Well, I <laughs> I was joking about the gators, but not really. Over there on that log, about a six or seven footer, sunning itself. We're gonna sneak up on him. Crikey, it's a big old gator. He looks pretty mean and hungry. Mean wow. and mean. Wow, he's a teenager. He's got his eye open, he sees if, he's, if he's a teenager, he's gonna have bad attitude about stuff. Be ready in case he jumps on the boat. <laughs> That's far enough, I think. <laughs> well, what's he gonna do, kill us? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this it? Jump in. Dog versus gator? Gonna hold Lucy back. Oh, there he goes. He just slid into the water. Question is, where did he go? Yeah. Throw the dog in, we'll lure him out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that about your beautiful Lucy. She's gator bait. We can lure him in close. No, she's photo. a gator dog. She could deal with it. If you just clamp around that gator's neck and there'd be no chance for the gator.
another tale from the wild kingdom. Now let's go fishing. Well, I've snagged the bottom several times, so I've lost two sets of lure here. And uh, I also broke the tip off my fishing pole, but I still got a hole here so I can still work it. <laughs> well, well, it's a little hard to see, but there are two ospreys over there. There's a nest there. Oh, there's a nest there. No wonder they're making so much noise. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they got a big old piece of fish that they're playing around with. They're noisy. There's two of them. Another sure sign of spring. The captain's got a fish. Get a net. Oh, I guess that mullet's a catfish. <laughs> oh, it's a catfish. Oh, great. It's not a catfish. <laughs> Get him in the net anyway. Did you bring those um, bulletproof gloves that I... No, they're in the back of uh, Elsie's car. Oh, great. No, no, don't bite it. That's bad. No bite. These guys are lethal. Oh, good. He's kind of unreachable. The spines on them will cause great medical distress for weeks if you manage to stab yourself deeply with them because they're full of toxin and you're in a heap of trouble. Who Just was, ask that guy. Who was it telling me that all you got to do is put your hand in 110 degree water? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. Huh. All this excitement has just got Lucy exhausted. It turned out to be well, we're going down river here, hoping to see the big gator or a big gator. Alright, the gator hunt's been successful. That looks like about an eight footer. At least. <laughs> He's a big one. Eight, nine. He's got a little lair over there too. Yes, he does. We're gonna sneak up on him. Another gator, Lucy. We're gonna use you for bait. Oh, he's a big boy. Big girl. <laughs> he's a beauty. What if he jumps in the boat? Then what do we do? And we're in deep trouble. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I jumped a foot. <laughs> Does he thrash down all that grass? I think oh, so. Yeah. That's his nest right there. Well, this isn't about fishing. This is about gator spotting now. Bennett Creek, a very likely place to find big bull gators. Gator number one is back on napping on that log over there. So we didn't disrupt his life too much. As long as we're doing the wild kingdom thing here, we're sneaking up on a big snapping turtle. There he is. I didn't want to mess with him. And enough of the uh, chasing wildlife or chasing fish again. Oh, wait a minute, fish is wildlife. <laughs> okay. One thing you don't see when I'm shooting these videos is I always announce loudly that I'm rolling with sound because when we're not fishing, there's a lot of interesting conversations going on and uh, we'd all be in deep trouble. Either you'd disown me or you'd uh, unsubscribe me or whatever because all our <laughs> lunatic views. All right, we're gonna move here because we caught nothing right next to the 400 million year old shelf of undersea rock that mysteriously is now above sea level. How did that happen? One more round of fishing here in the shadow of the banyan tree. Actually, it's an old dead live oak, I think. Jeez. Hopefully we're not in a too bad a spot. We'll try this out here. We're catching Jeez. not many fish, but lots of no seams. We're wrapped up for the day. We, <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of fishing going on out there and we we're catching more no seams than anything else. I know I've said that, but uh, good gator action this trip. Thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody.